for Monroe County District Attorney, Sandra Dorland. Good afternoon, everyone. Again, thank you for coming. I want to echo exactly what Dave and Doug said. What we need on our slate this year is experienced candidates with integrity. And all of us here in this room today have those characteristics. But let me tell you a little bit about myself. And I'll try to keep it brief, but um, I have a lot to say. I have a lot I want the community to hear about. I began my career in 1988 when I graduated from law school. And I came to Rochester. And I started off in a firm called Air Speech. I was there for a few years and really realized that I wanted to devote my career to the community and public service. In January of 1992, I joined the district attorney's office, hired by Howard Rowland. Within the next years, I literally worked my way up the ranks of the district attorney's office, serving many of the bureaus that currently are in our structure. In 2004, when Mike Green was elected to the district attorney's office as the district attorney, I took over my first supervisory position as the chief of the felony DWI bureau. There I supervised uh, attorneys doing DWI casework from 2004 to 2005. In 2005, I was promoted to the deputy chief of the major felony bureau, where I worked with trial assistants who try the most heinous and violent felony offenders in our community. In 2008, our second assistant had retired, and I became second assistant. I was the second woman to hold that position. In December of 2008, when our first assistant, Kenny Highland, retired, I became the first woman to hold the position of first assistant district attorney in this county. That's something I'm very proud of. As the first assistant under Mike Green, I was responsible for many of the bureaus, supervising their workload, and supervising the supervisors who, who ran the bureaus. I was also the chief of the homicide bureau. So from September of 2008, roughly, I've been to most of the homicides that have occurred within Monroe County. I've been to the scene, I've given advice to the police officers, and I've helped in the prosecution of those cases. I now come to you asking for your support for the candidacy and for the position of district attorney. I am supported by both Howard Rowland and Mike Green for this position. I have the experience necessary for this position. Over my years, I've prosecuted thousands of criminal cases. I've tried over 100 serious criminal cases. Homicides, I've prosecuted over 30. I've tried over 25 homicides. Experience matters. When the community looks to the office of the district attorney, it's someone who needs the experience to walk in on day one and be ready to serve the community. I've got the relationship with the office. I have partners in law enforcement. I have the commitment of the community. The community deserves nothing less than the experience that I bring to the community. Also, in 2011, in January of this year, I was awarded the Robert Morgan Bell Award for Excellence and Integrity in Prosecution. That is only given to four assistant district attorneys in the entire state on a yearly basis. I was given that award based upon the cases that I've done. And now, since we're in Greece, if any of you are aware of the prosecution of the Greece Police Department, for two years I worked hand in hand with the New York State Police and members of my office. We looked into the Greece Police Department, we cleaned it up, and now you have a wonderful police chief who is restoring integrity to the Greece Police Department. I'm proud of the work I did for the Greece, for the town of Greece and the Greece Police Department, and I believe that that shows my character and my integrity, and that's what I will bring to the district attorney's office. We have about uh, two and a half months left of campaigning, but everyone in this room needs to join together and support us. In order for this Democratic ticket to win this year, everyone needs to get together, join forces, get out the vote, and get our message. Because just like the district attorney's office, we need independence in our politicians. We need politicians who are not beholden to anyone. We need politicians who are going to make the right decisions in all particular cases. As the district attorney, I will not be beholden to anyone in any other county office. The district attorney's office must be independent. It must judge criminal cases on its merits, not on who the defendant's friends are. And that is something I will pledge to you if I'm fortunate to become the next district attorney in this county. So thank you all, and I really appreciate you all being here.